This is Saki with The Empress. Now, is this her first single released as a solo artist since Nemophila? Does she have solo music before this? I guess I'll answer that question later. But Well, I'm sure someone in the chat will. But anyway, uh, former Nemophila guitarist Saki's new music video, The Empress, her first live concert was Gotcha Rick Spins' Hannah and drummer Senri Kawaguchi was this morning in live stream. Senri and Hannah? That's crazy. Um, the concert has been archived and can be watched till July 5th. So I'll be sure to find that link and pop it in this video when it goes up on YouTube. But anyway, Saki, the Empress, let's check it out. Thank you so much, CMST340. Interesting fusion. Sounds like s- I noticed in a lot of Nymphila stuff, they really like that Phrygian dominant sound where it's got that like half step, whole half step, half step th- jump, uh, but it's also got the the seven is still a flat seven. So it's like kind of, uh, what's the like Byzantine sounding, but it's still kind of grounded with that minor seven. And it just like, cool. It sounds like that's the same thing she's bringing into this. So it's, I wonder if that was Saki's kind of flavor that she was adding to Nemophila. Saki's evolution into a superstar like holy buckets this is pretty powerful stuff uh the empress what a fitting name
okay what the heck that was such a cool change up bring in those like sinister brass horns to give it like a little bit of darkness and then going into that shredding solo which is even cooler the solo was really unique really interesting but it stands out even more because most of the song she's not getting lost in the weeds of shredding she's got a very strong melodic theme to the song like it's easy for guitarists to just go off into insanity shredding and have no like recognizable motif that they come back to to give the song a personality you know but this does a really great job of having a melodic foundation that she keeps coming back to to give the song that familiarity that identity and then throwing in shredding here and there to you know throw a little guitar flex our way <laughs> a bit of, a little bit of guitar ear candy That brass. Yeah, that's a good point, Big Sam. Uh, maybe she's happier when she's the focus and plays exactly how she wants without needing to modify for others. I understand that. That's kind of why I, you know, I like playing solo too. It's because as a musician, sometimes you become a bit of a perfectionist, a bit of a control freak. And you do want 100% control over what you're creating, you know? I mean, it's hard to replace the feeling you get playing with other musicians because that just gives you some type of really special energy and that sense of community, that sense of fulfillment. But at the end of the day, you still want to create something that you're 100% happy with. So, you know. It's all a balance, but it's cool to see what Saki comes up with on her own. This is a really cohesive song, well-written, nice flow, and uh, I'm happy to see that both her and Nemophila are flourishing right now. You know, maybe this was the best move for all of them, because now Hazuki has more of a prominent role, and she can make these epic songs the way she wants to, so happy for all of them and yeah thank you again so much cmst 340 for sharing this with us really appreciate it 